Good morning, I'm Jade Nicole. Thank you for joining me for another edition of a public affairs program. Keep in mind that the ideas discussed and the views expressed during this segment do not necessarily represent Town Square Media, any of its subsidiaries or affiliates. And this morning, joining me is Mr. Romel Gibson with Campus Life. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Great. Glad to have you with me today. Of course, you know why you are here. Um, you're here pretty much annually <laughs> yeah. talking about your kickoff. Right. Right. Okay, so when is it this year? It's tomorrow, September 22nd mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. out at Shelby Park again on 15th Street. Okay, and what exactly do you do at your kickoff? Man, every year it's different. It's it seemingly is bigger every year. So um, what it is is actually a an outdoor campus life club or campus life meeting that we have where we do a series of games and crowd breakers. And then at the end, I will do a little five minute talk or wrap up to explain the students why it's important for them to come to campus life every single Monday. Mm -hmm. So this is just our big kickoff event to draw attention to our organization throughout our city. We, although my school of primary focus is Central High School and that's where I spend most of my time, but our campus life is open to every high school kid or every teenager in Tuscaloosa. And so you'll see a variety of, of students from a variety of different schools all of that one event and we give you know give away free food and and we have some Alabama players may come show their faces and mm -hmm. giveaways and things of that nature okay now what exactly is campus life you know we jumped right in talking about your kickoff what exactly is campus life I, I would say it's kind of like a mentorship for high school students but how would you describe it well it is mentorship but it, we are um, unapologetically a ministry of course but um, our intention is to, to teach a principle we call the, ba the balanced life, and that is for kids to become leaders mentally, socially, physically, and spiritually. Mm -hmm. And with our ultimate desire is to see, um, since we are Christian, it is a desire to see students make an informed decision to follow Christ and plug into local churches. But the thing about campus life that is so unique and that's probably different from maybe even any other ministry you've ever heard of is that we are non-christian friendly and we are open to all kinds of kids from all walks of life and whether they make the decision to follow christ or not they're still um, able to be a part of campus life and, and be engulfed in what we do um for on a day-to-day -day basis really okay now i know that um, in your involvement in campus life you are in the schools regularly what exactly are you doing in the school uh, well um almost <laughs> whatever they need me to do uh, with typically you'll see me around lunchtime is when I'm on campus the most mm -hmm. and I assist the lunchroom workers with wiping down tables and sweeping um, I may monitor the lunch lines and help them have a system of sending students through the line so they won't get congested I hold conversations with kids I go to their tables and see how they're doing and the, basically the intention is to just meet new kids and and um, be a part of their whole culture, find out what's going on on campus so that I can be a support there and that they see me on a regular basis so that when we finally do get a chance to invite them to campus life, which is off campus, mm -hmm. um, they'll know who I am already and have a familiarity with who I am so that they won't be apprehensive about being a part of what we're doing. Okay, what has been your success rate um, since you've been a part of campus life? Like, have you seen a big difference in the lives of the students who attend or um, has it pretty much just been you keeping them from going down uh, worse paths or how, how has that worked? Uh, I mean, all of the above, actually. I'm not going to sit here and say that because a kid comes to campus life that their life just does a complete 180 and they they're walking a complete straight and narrow now because of their involvement with mm -hmm. us but we have seen um, grades improve we have seen behavior change we have seen I mean we've gotten testimonies from parents even the administration at the school has multiple times have communicated that uh, the behavior problems that they once had and things of that nature have decreased since campus life has been a part of their school and so that that's a huge testimony um, and it's not solely my doing. I mean, I'm just the campus life director, but we kind of empower a whole lot of volunteers and adult leaders who build relationships with students. And so I believe it's those relationships that cause kids to have an outlet 
mm-hmm. you know, with have somebody to vent to perhaps or somebody to challenge them in another way so that they won't make the same decisions they used to make. So, yeah, we've seen we've seen a I, I don't really have a number, I guess I could use to quantify it, but we've mm-hmm. seen a, a tremendous difference in just the way um kids are at school Mm -hmm. now i know that you are a nonprofit organization so you do have to uh, rely a lot on donations but the great thing about campus life is that um, each year you've been doing a comedy cafe yeah we do a comedy cafe um this year we and just to really clarify what a comedy cafe is is simply a night for adults not students because it is a fundraiser Mm-hmm. Um, there will be child care there if uh, an adult wants to attend, but they need someone to keep their, uh, you know, the smaller children or whatever. But it's an event where um, we get a chance to kind of lay out the ministry that we've done. You may hear testimonies from students telling you what Campus Life and even our teen parents program, our teen moms program, how it's been a blessing in their lives. Um, and then you get an opportunity to find out where our major needs are, what our vision is going forward, how many schools we plan to be in by whatever year we, we plan to be there, and then ways in which you can be involved with us, both in giving monetarily on a monthly basis. Maybe if one-time gift is all you can do, that as well. But then the other volunteer opportunities we have. And, and engulfed in all of that is a comedian we bring in every year who tells uh, several jokes and I, everybody we've had so far has been hilarious mm-hmm. but they all have had some kind of a connection to our organization as re- as well that made them passionate about coming to do the comedy part and it's a night where we enjoy desserts coffee water and 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 just you know enjoy the entire night Okay, now in years past, I have attended comedy cafes, and I remember um, a video where a student was talking about how he has seen you as um, a father figure. (laughs) Yeah. Just wondering, I know that you spend a lot of time um, with students, whether it be during school hours and outside of school. You know, it's not uncommon to see you at um, a football game, basketball game, beauty pageant, or whatever. Whatever, just you know supporting the students that are there how do you balance that and your own family life how how do you balance being um, I guess the, the, the guy said a fam I mean a father figure for him so how do you balance being a father figure for students as well as your own children honestly it's tough I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that that it's not tough Um, Definitely, I can't give them the exact same amount of attention that I would give my own children. Mm -hmm. I have to really be make sure that I'm intentional with being hands on with my own children as much as I can be, because it it can become taxing when you have a a large number of high school students vying for your attention. And then the fact that I'm not just in Central High School, but I'm also in West Lawn Middle School. So there's a whole nother group of. Uh, there's a whole there's another group of kids in the middle school who are reaching out as well. Um, I think my family understands what it is that I do and they understand that it, for me it's not a, a job, not necessarily a career. It's more more of a calling. Mm-hmm. And so I'm thriving the most when I'm able to make a difference, I think, in the lives of our young people, our youth in Tuscaloosa. And so um, they get, they expect me to be gone a certain amount of time as long as when they need me, I can drop what I'm doing and be there for my family as well. And that's been a challenge for me, you know, but we're growing in that area as well. So, Okay. Now, um, what are some of the other events that you have for um, your campus life students, uh, other, aside from your meetings on Mondays and this coming kickoff? Wow. We uh, regularly, we hold um, what we call them building times. Really what they are are uh, fun shared activities with students so we may we may do a video game night for them or i one idea i had is to get a whole bunch of griddles bring them to my office and have a pancake night we just eat pancakes and hang out and okay or either movie nights we've done those several times we watch movies um some of our girls may have sleepovers and and the guys may go out and hang out at the mall or have a football or ultimate frisbee game day but in addition to to those as well, we do our camps, our trips, and our, our, our events are very big for us. And in, in fact, this year we have another event going on during this, the, uh, it's the same time Comedy Cafe will be going on. 
and it is our pumpkin patch. We're having a pumpkin patch this year in hopes to raise more support so that we can take more students to some of the perhaps more expensive camps, but the more well mm-hmm. organized camps as well, so they can get an overall experience that they've never had before. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know about the pumpkin patch. Yeah, it's October, it begins October 17th, and I think it goes through October 25th. Okay, and what, where will they be available for purchase? Right at our office, and our office is on McFarland Boulevard uh, North. It's 1401 McV- McFarland Boulevard North, and its address is still Tuscaloosa, but it's across the bridge headed into Northport. We are ve- right next door to First Wesleyan Church. Didn't that used to be like a Shoney's? It did. It was, it was okay. a Shoney's at one point, but we renovated it. And so I would love to see individuals not only purchase the pumpkins to support kids to go to camp, but also to step inside the building and look at the game room that we've built in our offices and the club space we have in the back to run Campus Life and really get a feel for what it is we do on a day in, day out basis. Okay. And you also work with a team of volunteers? Yeah, we recruit as many volunteers as we possibly can who, um, number one, are Christian if they are going to be hands-on involved with our students and want to be running, you know, components of our club, then we pray that they're committed Christians as well so that they can understand our mission. But then even those who may say, I don't have the time or the passion to be hands-on with students, but I'd love to volunteer. They could work a couple of hours of the pumpkin patch Mm -hmm. because it's going to be going from, I think, 10 a.m. until like 8 p.m. every day those okay. those couple of weeks. And so we need countless volunteers for that, for the newsletters we send out. We have to stuff those and and send those out in the mail as well. And preparing those in office becomes a task. And so, man, there are so many opportunities to volunteer with us. Absolutely. It sounds like it. I know that you uh, seem to be pretty busy. Like, Very. <laughs> every day was hard enough to schedule this interview. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so just to give us a recap, you have a number of events coming up. First off, your kickoff Monday night. Monday night. Six o'clock? Six o'clock. Okay, at Shelby Park. Yes. And this is open to high schoolers? High schoolers. Okay. Okay. Throughout the city. Not necessarily. I mean, you definitely want the, the students from Central, but um, other, other schools as well. Other schools are, are, are very much welcome to come because it, at some point we plan to have campus life probably on their campus. Okay. We want to be in all the major schools in our city. So for them to get a feel for what it is and start inquiring about campus life, and maybe even if they want to come to my Central meetings on every Monday, uh-huh. it's available for them. So. Every high school kid is, is is welcome, but particularly we want, man, as many from Central High School as possible. Okay. And then you have your comedy cafe coming up. That's coming up October 21st. Okay. And at the same time, you'll be running a pumpkin patch. Yeah. Prayerfully, we'll have volunteers actually... Um, at our office running the manning the pumpkin patch while the comedy cafe is going on there's okay. a lot going on mm-hmm. but i'm i'm excited about there's a lot going on because there means that means there's a lot of ministry happening as well mm-hmm. so yeah okay great mm-hmm. information to have um if someone wanted more information about what you do how they might be able to um volunteer with campus life how they can become a donor how would they get more information uh, they could either call our office at 205-752-3361. Uh, they could email me at romel, R-O-M-E-L, at TuscaloosaYFC.com. Or they could look us up online and, and go to our website. Just look up Tuscaloosa YFC um, or, or Tuscaloosa Youth for Christ dot net or any of that. And, and we'll come up and you can inquire on, online as well. Great. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day. All right. Thank you.